What is it? It hasn't came up yet. I don't even know what it is. Oh, man. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing some jetty fishing. Um, I only have a few hours today, so this might be a two-day thing, depending on how today it goes. But uh, as far as today, we're going to do some jetty fishing. I only had a few hours, so I didn't want to pack up the kayak and unpack and all that stuff. But uh, this is a really cool spot. And I've been seeing some fishing reports, people catching pompano and Spanish mackerel and all that good stuff. So we're going to go out there and cast around some goofy jigs and uh, some gotcha jigs and just different things to see what we can hook up with. So stay tuned. I got some shrimp that I froze from the last time I went fishing. It's still, it didn't get like too dead, so hopefully it's not just catfish bait now, but um, we're gonna give it a shot. take a piece about that small and then two pieces about like that and then we'll use some sand flea fish bites Take two pieces like that. I just dropped a piece of shrimp down. <laughs> so we'll put a piece of shrimp and a sand flea fish bite on there that kind of holds the shrimp on. And then if they pull the shrimp off, we still have some bait on there. This one I'll just put a piece of sand flea. All right, and that little piece of shrimp, I'm just gonna weed on there like that. Pulls on, guys. Yeah, we got something on here. Ah, uh, we're in the rocks now. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fish that is. 
but it's not what we're wanting. It might be some type of puffer or something. I have no idea. That thing's wild looking. There we go. Ladyfish. hit hard. Another ladyfish. Alright. Alright guys, day two since we were just catching ladyfish. Got a little bit more time. My schedule's been crazy lately. Let's try to catch some more. Got a pop? Yeah. Nice man. Good catch. <laughs> there you go, I'm not catching anything, I'll record you. <laughs> Good job, man. You eat them? Uh yeah. You want them? You I'm don't want them? Back. No, I don't eat fish, I just do it for fun. Oh. Good yeah, sir. Yeah. If you want them, go ahead right away. Let me measure them real quick. Oop. Caught that and I caught a nasty catfish. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they gotta be 11 inches to the fork, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's well, Keeper. Man. Thanks, man. Enjoy, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, My wife likes these a lot, actually. <laughs> Catfish, seriously. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. What is it? It hasn't came up yet. I don't even know what it is. Oh man, it's a shark. All right. Got to reel this pole in. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got to reel this pole in. Hold on. Ah. Okay, got a little bonnet head shark. Looks like I pulled in somebody else's line too. I don't know what's going on right now. Little bonnet head shark, I think it's just his mouth bleeding. So, he'll probably be okay. All right guys, we're heading back. That didn't go as expected, we caught some fish but we didn't catch the fish I was wanting to catch. Um, I was hoping for pompano, and uh, of course the guy next to me caught a pompano and I didn't, but um, he said he didn't eat fish and he gave it to me, so it was awesome. So he kind of saved the day, uh, so we're gonna go home and do a catch and cook with that pompano, but um, but yeah, my schedule's been crazy lately. Uh, I didn't get the full amount of time that I usually get, so I went for a couple hours one night, or one evening at the jetty and then we went to that little pier but I still only had a few hours today so but uh, we, we were able to get on some fish and now we're gonna do a catch and cook with this pompano so I think that'll be really good um, but yeah yesterday was my birthday actually and uh, I just didn't have time to fish we went to the beach and just chilled out and stuff but here in a week or two I plan on trying to get on some kingfish in the kayak so i think that's gonna be fun and i'll try to make an episode about that but uh but yeah let's get back we'll clean up the fish and cook it so stay tuned for that okay so i started off with scaling the fish it's got really small scales but this does help remove all that and it helps get all the slime off too so it just kind of helps clean it up a little bit better And then I go ahead and gut and clean the fish. Just make sure you get all the intestines and everything out there. And then just give it another good rinse on the outside and the inside. And then I like to put a few kind of like crisscross slits in it. And it kind of helps get some of the flavor in there. It also helps bake the fish more evenly for like the thicker parts of the filet. And go ahead and do that on both sides. That's what I did for this occasion.
And then I have some melted butter in the pan. And you just want to make sure you get it on both sides. I use a lot of butter just to make sure it gets really tender and gets a, good, a lot of good flavor in there. And definitely put some salt on there. I always like to put a little bit of extra salt on the fish. Um, you can use whatever salt you want. That's just pink Himalayan salt. And then here's some paprika. And that's the Everglades seasoning. And some garlic that is kind of rubbed into the fish. And there was some pepper as well. And I have the oven at 375. And I did this for 25 minutes. All right, guys, the food is done. I'm here with my lovely wife, Mariana. Hello. And we've got some baked pompano, a little bit of rice action. I uh, would have done a vegetable, but it's a little late and I was trying to hurry. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we'll do a quick taste test. You want to try first? Sure. All right. Mm, you it, know what? That Brazilian flour will fit great with this. Oh, yeah. Farofa. <laughs> so she just grabbed some uh, farofa because she's Brazilian, so she's got some spices totally and things good. that she likes. Yeah. This is farofa, guys. I don't know how to explain. It's like yuca, grounded yuca or something like that. Yeah. And but like there are seasonings. Yeah. It's kind of like Very a delicious. flour type thing that they put on food. It's really good. It gives it kind of a little bit of a crunch and some good flavor. I'll let you try it first. Don't you? So the meat like pops right off. It's super tender looking. This is my second time doing this, so hopefully it turned out good. Mm, yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Very moist. Mm-hmm. Oh. I accidentally got a bone. <laughs> yeah. No, that's really good. It's super moist. I did 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. And uh, you saw the spices I did. It was basically the Everglades seasoning, paprika, salt, butter, garlic. Uh, I think that's it. Pepper, yeah. But uh, shout out to the guy who gave me this fish. If you see this somehow, thank you. Thank you so much. I was actually, I was fishing for pompano, but we caught like everything else except pompano. But it just goes like that sometimes. But, um, but yeah, this is really good. We didn't let it go to waste, so thanks for that. If you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about subscribing, and we will see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>